Hey guys, it's Leslie here at Hammer and Stain North Shore. Thank you for choosing to do a beautiful, fun mini truck with a tree take home kit. If you are following the directions that are in your take home kit, you are on step number one, and that is to watch this quick video to show you what you have in your take home kit in a quick step by step, um, just in case you need a live guide. So first step is watching the video. Second step is gonna be starting to paint your tree. So you'll notice that you have a paintbrush, a smaller paintbrush that has a blue handle. This is what you're gonna to use to paint your tree. I've also included an orange sponge if you choose that you wanna paint it that way, but the, um, the brush is probably your best bet. You're going to look for the um, colors that says truck. So you chose your color for your truck, you chose your color for your tree. Your truck color, that's what you want to start with, and you're gonna start painting everywhere you want your truck to be that color. I've also included black and a gray for the wheels. You can paint, use the same paintbrush. All you need to do is um, rinse it off under water and pat it dry, and then use the same paintbrush to paint your wheels black and your windshields gray if you want them those colors, or you can just leave your windshields white or paint them black. It's totally up to you. This is your truck and tree to paint. Once your tree, I'm sorry, once your truck is dried, you're gonna paint your tree and you're gonna paint it the green color and you're just gonna do the same thing with the paintbrush. If you chose to do the snow effect or the shimmer effect, you want your tree to be completely dry before you do that. If you chose snow, you wanna do that one first and you're gonna use this brush, dip it in the white um, paint. You don't need a lot, you just want the ends to be covered and you're gonna dab at the spots where you want the snow effect to be. It can be kind of all over the truck. It can just be on your tree. A little paint goes a long way unless you want your truck to have gone through a blizzard. It's totally up to you. Once you start um, adding on the snow, there's kind of no turning back. So make sure you start with a little and you can always add more. You don't wanna swipe it or swipe it. You wanna do the dabbing technique. If you then did the shimmer, if you do the snow and the shimmer, do the snow first and then do the shimmer. If you only did the shimmer, you want your truck and your tree to be completely dry before you start putting it on. Um, same if, if you did the snow. Make sure your snow is dry before you put on your shimmer. So you're gonna get this black brush out and you're gonna dip it in your shimmer and you're going to paint it on. And this one, you don't have to dab, you can actually, um, do this technique and you're gonna put it everywhere you want a little shimmer maybe it's just on your tree maybe it's all over maybe it's just on your truck it's your choice then you're gonna let that dry completely too and then you're gonna stick in your little um, multicolored bulbs and this truck does not come with a plug-in light so but it does have a hole at the bottom so you'll want to if you want it to light up you'll want to go out and get a tea light of some sort to put under there or a candle works too um, but once your truck is completely dry you are all done and all set if you decide to take a picture of your finished hand-painted truck with tree and post it on Facebook or Instagram, please make sure to tag us at Hammer and Stain North Shore. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us um, via email, which is on your instruction sheet. Have fun painting your mini truck and tree at home. Thanks, bye.